birthplace of 12,000 horsepower, the Wellesian picture of power units emerging from the blueprint stage and the inferno of the bench test rooms at the National Gas Turbine Establishment of Pystock. Where combustion tests are made, earplugs are worn against the deafening roar of horsepower on the loose. The problems are to find new types of steel and alloys to stand up to the terrific heat and work out the ideal mixture of air and paraffin. A short flame is the right answer. The Rolls-Royce workshops at Derby have been producing air record-breaking engines for almost 20 years. It is here that the famous Derwent jet engines are made. Engines that can hurl a plane through space at a speed where the normal smooth flow of air breaks down into a series of violent shock waves which batter the aircraft as if it had been hit with lumps of rock. We live in an age where man is pitting himself against the laws of nature and the universe, attempting with jet and rocket to travel into the unknown. A great field of adventure will open before the men who fly the aircraft designed to penetrate the sonic barrier and travel faster than the speed of sound. The imaginings of Jules Verne are already out vision, and in the realms of scientific research, designers with an eye to the future look into the sky and say, there goes one of those old-fashioned planes with a man in it. 